It's my party and I'll cry if I want to? <laughs> How could you do this? I just signal boosted the Bevan Bash. You're welcome. Because at last check, it looks like everyone's coming. Everyone? Thanks, Jackson. Well, that's why I'm here. I need your help. You guys know Mandy? Polka dot Mandy. <gasps> yeah, she's coming. She talked to me in math class. But last period, she couldn't get far enough away from me. And I think it's because I have bad breath. What did you have for lunch? Tzatziki, onion rings. Uh, did I just answer my own question? Maybe. We could test your sensitivity to garlic and onions if you want. Bevan, feel like making a run to the cafeteria? One less girl grossed out by Jackson is a good thing. What are you thinking? So, chewing garlic or onions creates a sulfur-containing molecule. If we test your breath for it, we'll find out how super sensitive you are. Me sensitive? Food sensitive. Sorry. Uh, grab a microprocessor and LED lights from the bins. Oh, and a gas sensor. Brilliant. I think, and I hope. What are you guys still doing at school? Helping Jackson with his love life. Wow, you really like a challenge. Hey, I heard that. Oh, you're in for a treat? I think you're enjoying this a little too much. No amount is too much. Blow, we need a baseline. <sighs> Perfect, all green. Alrighty, roasted onion hummus, go. Not bad. Okay, parsley palate cleanser. Raw onions. Tzatziki. Jackpot! Four bars. Oh, raw garlic? Why bother? Do it. Okay, four bars again, and we have our answer. So for me, tzatziki is like eating a clove of raw garlic. No wonder why Mandy was avoiding me. I mean, you could carry this with you and test your breath in case you want to talk to her. Or you could just not eat tzatziki around girls. Your choice. Okay, everyone, I think it's time to go to Bevan's party. Yeah, you'll find me parked beside the bowl of plain chips. Mm, the things we do for love. Uh-oh. I, I lost it? This is not happening. Not happening. Got yourself a handsaw. Yes, guys. I made this app, and if I take a picture of something, it tells me what it is. You got yourself a apple. And you made this to do what? Once it can identify foods, I hope it can figure out what I want to eat. Take away the guesswork. So why not just program it to say pizza and french fries? <laughs> french fries. You're making me hungry. Give me your phones. I'll download the app. My phone's dead. Lana, it'll only take two minutes. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> What are you working on? Built a new room in my game last night. Just looking at it fresh. How many rooms do you have now? A uh, classroom, makerspace, and now the gym. And puzzles for the first two. Oh. Done. Hit the X or check mark after you take the photo. The more times it gets it right, the smarter it gets. Okay. You got yourself a personal laptop computer. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty cool. You got yourself a water bottle. I'm impressed, Jackson. Thank you. How many pictures do you want me to take? I don't know, a hundred? A hundred? Well, I'll have to do it later. I'm studying for math. Tomorrow's math test. I gotta go. So, just curious, would you be able to send me that picture of us eating banana splits last week? Uh, yeah, but then I need to focus. Please enter your password. What? That is not the correct password. What? Yes, it is. Jackson messed up my phone. I can't even get into it. Yep, he bricked it, which is why I never let Jackson touch my oh. stuff. Hey, what's up, Bev? Lana needs help with her phone. Uh, tell her to take it out of voiceover mode. I would if I could get into it. That is not the correct password. 
You got yourself a really mad Lana on your hands. Like, mad mad. Uh, this is a bad connection. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a second. Jackson? Yeah? Did you put a rock climbing wall in my gym? I'm nowhere near the gym. Unless you think that's a good place to hide from Lana. Jackson! Speaking of... Has someone been in my game? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just nervous. You look like you're a supply teacher. I'm dressing like a leader. When the 2067 Expo team gets here, I'll seem, you know, in charge. Yeah, who says? All the search engine auto-completes when you type in, leaders should wear. I have so many questions about your life. For Oh, you all came together. Yeah, our lockers are in the same hall, so... Is that a problem? Okay, so it's amazing that we can all do 2067 Expo together. You may or may not know, but on the day, we'll have two hours to complete a super fun tech project from scratch to show what we think stuff will be like in 50 years, right? Right. Thanks, Lana, my right hand. You sent in a bunch of great ideas, which gave us a lot of great ideas. Neil just emailed in one more, so I will forward that to you. Thanks. I know Principal Ravelli really wants us to work on super fun kids in the real world ideas, so I think we should develop this. What is it, a flashlight? So you know how people have already figured out hand-powered flashlights? I was thinking we could put these tiles that conduct electricity to the bulb into a 3D printed housing we will design. So it's a flashlight. Yep. But since your palm needs to touch these tiles, which conduct energy from your hand, 3D printing the housing will let us customize the design. So it's ergonomic, useful, environmentally friendly. What's not to love? And what am I missing? Maybe it just feels a bit safe? Like, flashlights have already been invented. I was thinking that we could work on how gaming and apps can be useful. We use them all the time, so how will we use them in the future? Like the one that I used for your wrist? But if we're talking future sustaining energy, all that important stuff, I think we should go flashlight. But if Ravelli wants super new, fun kids in the real world stuff, I think gaming's a no-brainer, right? But our goal is to win the expo, so I think we need something that is kind of a brainer, don't you think? Guess we need a little more time. Yeah. You guys can go. We'll update you before the next meeting. One of us will send you an email telling you what our direction is. It'll be me. I'll send it. Mm, no. So, is this light good enough? It's okay. Bevan, do you have anything to diffuse the light? Welcome to my room, you guys. You said come on over. Should we not make ourselves at home? Okay, Jackson, let's do this. All right. Yes, only one more to go. One of what? You, us. Hashtag, Row It Loves Jackson. Did you seriously take a picture with everyone in the school in one day, minus you, so stand up, please. Pass. What? It's not of all of Row It without you. And Simone did it, see? Where is she anyway? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess she just did something after our expo meeting, maybe. Like what? Call my Nana to see if she has any more exciting ideas for your expo <laughs> project? Anyway, Bevan, let's make it a double-decker. You go get the bunny ears and Jackson? I'll go... Jackson? Absolutely not. Forget it. I have a dentist appointment. Uh, stick it to the man. You couldn't say it was fun, could you? Come on, Bevan. Double bunnies? Absolutely not. No. What? Why? Because somehow I don't trust the combo of Jackson and pictures. Okay, Bev, this is more than a hashtag. This is a movement. Cool, but I'm not budging. What? Please. Nope. You're doing this to make me crazy. Yes, I am. Still a very cool hashtag, just with every student except one. Not fair. 
I can see and smell them. You're playing two senses at once. Yeah, wearing you down? Delicious. Not fair. I can still smell them. And I will never publish a photo without Bevan's express knowledge and approval, including captions. Captions? That's way too far, Bevan. That's my freedom of speech. Offers off the table in five, four, three, two, I one. I counter. I counter. And don't get gravy in my hair. I'll try. Hey, Simone, just see this. Can you get her? Yeah. What are you guys doing? No, just Jacksoning at its best. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just hanging oh, out. You got gravy in my hair, Bevan. No, I didn't. They're mostly just... Yeah, I did get gravy in your hair, man. I really did. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. Dear Principal Ravelli, an expo update for you. Though I chose Lana to be my second in command, I've realized something. And I've made a tough decision.